Family members of victims from Uvalde and other mass shootings taken to the streets of the nation's capital today. They're demanding that Congress pass an assault weapons ban. Demand action now! Demand action now! Survivors of the deadly mass shooting on July the 4th in Highland Park, Illinois, organized this rally. They're calling their group March 4th, F-O-U-R-T-H. Ten-year-old Jaden Canizales joined the demonstrators. He survived the Uvalde, Texas shooting. Jaden says he had he hid under a table as the gunman opened fire in his classroom. NBC's Mara Barrett spoke with him today. Why are you here today? Um, so we can abandon uh, weapons now. And why is that so important? So no one has to go through what I've gone through at school. I felt sad because most of my friends passed away. What do you want to tell the people that have power? For everybody to be safe and never and um, stay with your family so nothing bad will always happen to you. A little boy speaking his truth to power. And he is not alone. Here's CNBC's Shamari Stone. Oscar Arona is grateful his 10-year-old son Noah survived the Uvalde mass shooting. He was in the classroom where both teachers were shot and killed. Struck by gunfire. He got shot in the back uh, with the exit wound on his shoulder. Desperately waiting for help. He lay there for 77 minutes before someone decided to do something. Oscar joined dozens of families impacted by recent mass shootings in Uvalde and Highland Park, Illinois, calling on Congress to enact stricter gun laws. Someone has to be the voice for these poor babies, for these victims that, that passed. If, if we don't say something, who is? We want this to stop now. No more assault weapons. No more. We don't need them anymore. We don't want them anymore. They need to be out. President Biden recently signed the bipartisan Safer Communities Act, requiring more background checks on gun buyers under the age of 21. But no ban on assault weapons. They didn't have the votes. Some of the people at today's march met with lawmakers demanding more action. But it's not enough. And this that we're asking for, four simple words, ban assault weapons federally. They shared stories about their fears over gun violence. We're done. We're done being scared in our schools. We're done being scared when we go out in public. We're done. We're done. Many families like Oscar Arona say they're not giving up until all kids are safe. We've got an issue here, and it's not just an issue in Texas. It's not just an issue in Chicago. It's an issue nationwide. Now, Oscar tells me that Noah is still suffering with PTSD. He is very emotionally wounded. Now, keep in mind, this has been 50 days since the Uvalde gunman shot him. Now, he sometimes wears a fisherman's hat so that when he hears loud noises that remind him of gunfire, he can grab the hat and pull it over his ears. Shep. Shamari Stone, thanks very much.